Hey guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to my channel, Anglegeist. Um, this is the daily forecast for Thursday the 21st. Welcome to those of you that are new. Uh, to those of you that are returning, welcome back. And thank you so very much to my Patreon subscribers. This is a timeless message, so if you are seeing it on a date that's other than the 21st of May, that's okay. There could still be a message in it for you. Um, if you want to support the channel, please think about getting a subscription over at patreon.com under Anglegeist. Or you can like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel or my business page over on Facebook. Book a private reading with me. There's all sorts of ways to support the channel. Um, you could come and take my cat away because he's in the living room crying because I'm talking. Here he comes. Um, if you want a free cat. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the forecast and see. Oh, will you shut up already? I you weren't you were quiet when I had the video off. God, I swear. He's like dead silent until I turn the video on and then he's got to like cry out. Arthur, what are you doing? Come here. Arthur Kitty. He's like walking through the house crying like he doesn't know where he is or something. Dementia cat. All right. So let's see what's going on. What do we need to know for the 21st? Also check out, uh, for those of you, uh, the, the June horoscopes are going up. Uh, slowly but surely. I've done the air signs today since it's Gemini birthday time. So Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius are up. Tomorrow I will do the water signs in honor of Cancer. Be the next birthday season. Listen to him. Such a ding bat. Let's see, what do we need to know today? Okay, we have the Five of Wands. So I know the story of this one because we've read the story of this one. Um, this is about sort of, if I remember correctly, delving into the depths of the subconscious and the light sort of, the story is that these fishermen are in the, um, the water representing the subconscious and they're sort of in there with this light sort of guiding their way through the darkness to find the things that they need to find or to bring in this fish um the what was what was the hierophant so yesterday's card was that was it the seven of wands that was the seven of wands with that house I would have sworn that was a four. I guess it was the seven. We had that like, sort of what appeared to be like a schoolhouse or that house of knowledge. And to me, that was a wands card also. And am I not correct about that? Let me just double check. Sorry guys, this deck has got me thrown. I have to say. All right. So with that seven of wands from yesterday, we had that strong schoolhouse and we had the gatherer card. And to me, that, those uh, spoke to sort of like this intellectual intelligence or strength intellectually, even though it was a wands card. This to me feels like a deep dive back into our subconscious again. This is a, like an opportunity for us to meditate, an opportunity for us to sort of dig deeper, figure out what it is we want at a deeper level, what it is we're able to sort of, uh, you know, challenge ourselves to go after. Um, even in the more darker recesses of our mind, our heart, our brain, um, our spirit, I think that it's it's there, it's findable for us, if that makes any sense. That's this sort of, these two fishermen fishing and bringing in this big fish. The fish to me is sort of the prize or the goal, the desire. Whatever that may be for each and every one of you, you all might have a different desire. But we have to trust that desire and we have to trust that it's out there for us and that we can bring it in. Right, but we also have to acknowledge sort of the deeper side and darker sides of ourselves that we maybe don't necessarily get an opportunity to acknowledge because we're usually so busy in our normal day to day life. Recently, since the pandemic, we're not necessarily that busy, so we have these opportunities to sort of strengthen ourselves and our understanding of self through like the messages in these wands cards, which to me, yesterday, that sort of the stability of that building felt like a schoolhouse or higher learning, right? And now this is more about like sort of this idea of 
delving deep into sort of the emotional self, the deep subconscious, and bringing about the treasures that are in there, or what it is we want to find, as scary as that may seem. But we have to kind of trust that we know how to navigate that path, if that makes sense. Fives always present change, right? And so this being the five of wands says to me that we will bring about change if we go on this um, exploration would be a good word. You know, this fishing trip to me isn't just like men out fishing. They're exploring for something greater, for some sustenance, for something that, you know, brings them sort of goodness in a way, right? It not only feeds them, it can house them, it can clothe them, it's all of those things. So what is it, what is it, what desires are within us that we need to sort of uh, seek out, find, that will make us feel more fulfilled, more happy, more complete, more stable? But it's like, to get to that stability, we might have to go through the challenge of change, the challenge of sitting with ourselves, going deeper, admitting to ourselves what we actually want. Does that make sense? Shining a light on those desires or those things that we want and then acknowledging them and then, you know, accepting the change that might have to take place or enacting the change that might have to take place to bring ourselves forward towards that goal. It's interesting to me that all of these water image, all of these fire cards have like heavy water image, imagery to them. So it throws me off when you say this is the five of wands, but yet they're fishing on a lake and they're bringing in fish, which to me, fish are representational of like Pisces. Like a fire sign trying to net a Pisces, but doesn't want to admit it. Hmm. I don't know anybody like that. All right, let me see. The smoky mirror. Oh, bitch. <laughs> we haven't seen this one yet. All right, so did I not say meditation, guys? Did I not say meditation? 47, card number 47, which boils down numerologically to an 11, which is a master number, guys. So this is the day to go inward. I kid you not, this five of wands says to me that um, we need to dig deep dive into our subconscious and look at our desires. What is it that we want to bring in? What is it that, what is the bounty that we want to accomplish or achieve for ourselves? The smoky mirror to me also speaks to that. I don't know the definition of the smoky mirror yet, but I'm just going to describe to you what I sort of see is going on here. This meditating Buddha sitting in the water, the same water that we see this fish is in, he's having these wonderful ideas around his third eye and, and crown chakra, right? He's shooting off these sort of, as Abraham six. Hicks would say, the rockets of desire, by going inward and finding out what deep down inside of him he wants. Realizing what it is that he came here to do. Acknowledging that as scary as it may seem and then living in that reality. And letting that reality sort of ripple out from him emotionally. The smoky mirror to me, the word smoky mirror makes me think that, you know, it's a reflection of ourselves that we have to look into, but it's not always quite so clear. That's the smoky aspect of it. It's the murk of this water or the darkness and why this man is holding the lamp on the fishing trip. Right? But we're doing this. They're fishing, right? They're going into the deep dive. They're going into the smoky mirror to better themselves, to make more for themselves, to have more, to understand more, to expand more, to produce more, to feel more in alignment with their life and their world. And it's there for us, I feel like. Remember that grounding stone from Sunday, I'm just gonna call you back to that, is that idea of happiness. What makes us happy? What is going to be the fish that brings us that sort of joy? What do we need to bring in? All right, so let's go and read. I'm just going to read The Smoky Mirror just because I'm interested to know what it has to say. I really feel like it's about sort of going inward and finding through the murk or the mire, finding what we truly want. There's divinity within it. Even the mire. 
All right. The essence. The smoky mirror represents the aspects of what is implied that cannot be immediately known in the world. The mystery of how things come together and how they fall apart without obvious casualty. The symbol also represents the smoke, the shadow of the human psyche, the parts of the self that one disowns. The smoky mirror can also represent a state of denial or the inability or refusal to see the truth. The invitation. When the symbol of the smoky mirror appears, you're invited to see beyond your own self. Acknowledge that past the limits of your current ability to perceive, there's a vast interconnected world where events are orchestrated in divine order, but challenging to fully grasp. Now is the time to trust that no matter what the current conditions of your world reflect, in the hidden realms, all aspects of the human journey are celebrated. The beauty and the darkness, the misery and the courage, no matter where you are on your journey, know that things are meant to be a mystery, which you are meant to understand only through experience. Take heart, for the smoky mirror will ultimately show you beauty and wonder once the fog lifts and the lifts the distortion you see now. So this is, when I'm looking at these two cards, this is a really good day to sort of work through some of our, I don't know, our darker, deeper desires, our whatever feels cloudy or unsure. These cards are calling out for us to kind of commune with those aspects of self. The medicine. Understanding the shadow of the human journey requires that you go deep into your story to discover the wound that prevents you from seeing the truth of your current situation. Your fears and expectations of disappointment and unworthiness may be clouding your capacity to see the potential for your, in yourself and others. The smoky mirror may be showing you things you don't want as a result of your conditioning. These can become even more real, but only because you are making it so. The choice is yours. The world will hold you accountable for what you see and create. Can you see through the eyes of truth and faith instead? Let me get the grounding stone. And the word is promise. And I always say this with this word, it's not only like making a sort of a promise to ourselves, but it's about like the promise within life. Like to me, the promise here is this golden light around the Buddha's head or this fish. They're kind of the goal. They are the opportunity to sort of dig through the depths and figure out what it is that we're creating and what it is that we want and knowing that we deserve it. And the promise that that sort of provides, making that promise to ourselves to go after it, to do the work, to settle within ourselves, to really go inward and have a conversation with ourselves. Are things the way we want them to be? If they're not, then what do we need to do to go about getting them there? Making that commitment and doing it. Like showing up for ourselves. Where does our happiness lie? These are the things I think of with this like forecast. Sorry that it's sort of vague, but I, I think that like for each person, this is about subconscious work. This is about sort of admitting to ourselves and finding within ourselves that which sort of eludes us. And we all have a sense of what that is. It's just how much of that sense, how much of our attention do we want to give to that sense? I believe that these cards are asking us to. I believe these cards are in the beginning of the doors of that Hierophant card showing up at the end of the week. And this is about a layer of knowledge or subconscious awareness that's showing up for us that is full of promise, that is full of opportunity, but it requires us to promise to ourselves and to make a commitment to ourselves to pursue it, to look for it, to seek it out, to embrace all aspects of self, positive, negative, light and shadow. And then to move forward towards that. I hope that makes sense for you guys. This is your forecast for the day. I'm going to leave you with that for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit like, share, comment, subscribe. Keep an eye out for the Taroscopes for the month of June. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. All right. Have a great day. Take care. I love you. Bye-bye.